So here we have the Isshin QX70. It's their slightly larger Tiny Whoop competitor. Let's get this out of the box. Comes a little instruction manual. Kind of similar to all the Isshin instruction manuals I've seen before. Uh, extra set of props, that's nice. Here's the quadcopter itself. Looks like final assembly is pretty easy. Just gotta pop the camera in there. And it looks like that's pretty much good to go. Got some dirt or something on my props there. Uh, so yeah, it looks pretty nice. Uh, inside the box we have, this is kind of neat, they use a little uh, Pico blade connector instead of uh, an actual USB connector to save some weight. Uh, right in front of the battery right there. And charger. Silicone wire there, that's pretty nice. And a prop puller it looks like, and that's what you get in the box. Let's throw this on the scale and see how much it weighs. We're at 38.9 grams for the quad. And the included battery pack is 15.7. And this is uh, labeled as a 600 milliamp battery. Uh, just for comparison, a Nanotech 750 with the uh, mini low C connector remove is 18.6. And one of these new Banka high voltage 500 milliamp uh, batteries is 16.6. So. A little bit lighter than these Banka high voltages and a good chunk lighter than the 750s. Uh, one thing I noticed straight off the bat here is this battery pouch is pretty much made for this battery and this battery only. These 750s are going to be too wide to fit in there and these Bankas are going to be too tall to fit in there. I think what I'm probably going to do is just cut open the bottom here. Uh, cut open the bottom there and so that other uh, things can slide into the back there and then throw a rubber band around the sides. So let's get this battery charged up and get this thing bound up to my DX8 and get flying. All right, so here we go. This is the, my first actual flight, first battery, just plugged it in. So the first thing I noticed was that it flies pretty dang good, like forward flight, controllability, seemed like it was all there. Uh, very Inductrix Tiny Whoop style. Uh, <laughs> guys, I was pretty, uh, pretty confident right away. I shot that gap underneath the stairs there. Uh, I was flying around in the living room a little bit. My wife made me edit her out, so that's why I jumped right there. Uh, on my goggles, this is actually still pretty clear. Uh, on my DVR recording on my screen, it, it looked like it cut up a little bit. And here we're going to try to go down the stairs, and the first time I realized that this thing is severely lacking punch. Uh, doing that in my tiny whoop with the B-Brain and with uh, the insane motors, that I mean, I could, I could punch down there no problem. I could just drop altitude and punch out of it. Uh, so resetting, flying around my basement here a little bit. Excuse the mess. Uh, again, pretty good controllability. Flies pretty nice. I think flashing Betaflight 301 on it would make it even better. On um, my other brushed quads, uh, upgrading from either Clean Flight or Betaflight uh, 30 to 301 really made makes them fly way better. You get a lot less of the the tail end dropping out and just less weirdness. Uh, so, I mean, this flies pretty good, but like I said, just punch is, is just, it's like not there. I don't know if maybe uh, different props might help, uh, maybe a better battery, maybe it's a low C battery. I'm, I'm not sure. But like I said, I'm flying around pretty good and right, right there again. So after I go over the ironing board, I, I drop down and try to punch out and it just, it's just, bleh, just nothing. So flying around my basement still. Reset, shooting the gap here. I, 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 I th and this is actually before I calibrated the accelerometer too. I calibrated the accelerometer after this uh, first battery pack, and it, and it flew a little better, but still just lacking the punch. And here I'm just kind of like playing between 
half, but half throttle and full throttle is almost the same. It's like nothing was different. So I, here I'm just kind of playing around between, okay, throttle up, throttle down, throttle up. Uh, try to go back up the stairs again and come back down. And here I'm trying to hold some throttle, not fall too fast. And uh, uh, yep, yeah, no punch at all. So here I'm just going to basically fly around in a circle and just get a kind of a feel for that throttle again. Uh, really flat between half and full throttle, not a lot of power there. The first thing I'm going to try is basically push the motors up beyond the ducts and throw on some Ladybird props. I, f I flow those in my other 80 millimeter size, 8 millimeter motor quads, and they, they seem to, to, to have some pretty good punch. So I, I've seen experiments with tiny whoops with running props above the ducts. You don't lose a, a ton of power from that. You do lose, lose a little bit of efficiency, but I just kind of want to do some experimentation with, with punch. And uh, after that, I'm going to try some different motors. I have some motors from Hobby King that in my other 8mm motor quad frames really rip pretty good. So I, I, I'm, I'm happy with the frame. The frame's pretty stout. The flight controller seems good. The camera they included, the all-in-one micro package, is just awesome. I, I really, really like it. The LEDs on the back, I'm a big fan of LEDs. When you fly with other people, I think it makes it a lot more fun. So we'll see what we can do to get this thing flying right. And ran out of punch again. All right, guys, so there was the first battery pack through the new Isheen QX70. Right now, the my main critique is it's really lacking punch. Everything, it bound up just fine. It was full DSM-X, uh, 22 millisecond supported. The camera is outstanding. It's one of these new small cams. The only number that's on it is VM275T. This is the version 1.1 with uh, the circular polarized antenna. Awesome, awesome video out of this thing. I've gotten a few of these from uh, Craze Pony on Amazon with the linear polarized antenna, and those are awesome as well. Just great video quality, a little bit narrower field of view than the FX798s but the camera quality is really, really good. It's by far and away my new favorite micro all-in-one, so I'm really happy to see them included. But right now, it's just really lacking punch. Fast forward flight and kind of flying around quick, not a big issue. It handles that no problem, but for some reason, it just it's like flying a tiny whoop when you first put the camera on with the stock motors. It just, it you, you hit the throttle, and it's just, just can't quite go up. So maybe different props, maybe different motors, maybe different battery. We'll uh, we'll keep tweaking on it. We'll see what the community says. We'll see if Isheen has any pointers of maybe things that we should try. Maybe putting the I know Ladybird uh, props are really really popular for the eight millimeter motors here. So maybe we'll give those a shot. And my battery just died, so I'm gonna quick unplug this and catch you next time.